Oh hey, we're back in the garage with a ratty muscle car here, and we are gonna try to dissolve some rust with this. I don't know if this stuff works or not. I've heard, like I remember a long time ago, somebody told me this stuff works. So I grabbed some at the store the other day, and I wanna try and dissolve some rust. This car has plenty of it, so we're gonna see what the heck happens. So, let's get started. So there's no shortage of rust on this car. Unfortunately, no amount of rust remover is going to remove rot. So I think what I'm gonna start with is up here on the trunk lid hinge. This has some, some pretty heavy surface rust on it. It's not rotted, the metal's still good, but I'm gonna just spread some of this uh, Loctite navel jelly on here, and we're gonna see what the heck happens. Apparently I'm supposed to leave it on there for 10 to 15 minutes, and then rinse it off with water or wipe it off or whatever. I know I'm not supposed to breathe it or like look at it or get it in my eyes or touch it or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to be safe, but uh, let's spread it on. I got one of these acid brushes here. It's got some, I don't know, it's fur on the end or what? All right, so let's dip it. Here we go. We're just gonna plop it on there just like that. I'm gonna do an extra thick coat here. Oh yeah, that's what we need. That's the good stuff. Nice and thick. Okay, so now we're just gonna let it sit there and see what the heck happens. I'll, uh, I'll check in again in five minutes and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So it's now been five minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna wipe off the bottom section and see if it's any different. I'm gonna leave the top. And we're gonna check the top again in like maybe five more minutes. Okay. I will say it looks no different. So hopefully in about 10 minutes, it will start looking a little different. So, okay. I'm gonna set the timer for another five. We're gonna check back in. It's now been 10 minutes and I added some extra navel jelly to the bottom half and the top half with hopes that it will actually make a difference this time. So now I'm gonna wipe it off again, just on the bottom. So I haven't disturbed the top yet. All I've done is add more. And I'm not seeing any difference. Looks looks the same to me. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna apply even more. And maybe in five more minutes, something will happen. Let's try it. We're back at it again, five minutes later. So we're up to 15 now. Let's wipe this off. I don't know. My instinct is that it is not any better. Hmm. Could I be doing this wrong? Is it really that hard to put navel jelly on a rusty piece of metal? All right, let's add some more and see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna wipe the whole thing off and just see what's going on here. All right, what do you guys think? Any better? Maybe? I'm gonna say no. I think, I think it's the same. Hmm. So I think that that's 20 minutes and it has done nothing so far. Nothing, nothing noticeable at least. Let me just kinda, no. No, it's just, it's just rusty. So why don't I throw on more navel jelly? So we'll do that. We'll give it like a good solid 10 more minutes and we'll see what happens. I just went bananas with it. So let's start the clock. All right, in the interest of not making a boring video, we're gonna go on to test number two. 
I'm gonna take off this right here and we're gonna see if we can make the rust disappear a different way. So it's now off the car and you can see this piece is pretty rusty. It's got some yellow paint. It's got some factory green paint. It's got the two bolts in it and they're covered in various paints. So I have heard that if you take this and you dunk it in muriatic acid, then it will remove the rust from this stuff if you leave it in there for a few minutes. So that is what we're gonna try next. Let's, uh, let's drop it in here. I guess now we just wait. I know this is tough to believe, but it's been five more minutes. Let's try something crazy here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off some of this stuff. Right in here, maybe. And maybe give it a little one of these. All right, kind of looks like mud now. That could be good. Yeah, it's still rust though. Let's uh, get a little spray. Hmm, sure is rusty. So, I don't know that I'm convinced that this is doing anything. Maybe this is too rusty? Maybe I need to start with something that isn't rusty to take the rust off? Let's check the acid. Five minutes into the acid, and I can see the acid is turning yellow. So I'm gonna guess that something is happening here. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's worth noting or not, but something seems to happen. Wow, cleaned up that pretty good. This is a piece of throttle linkage from a 1960 Pontiac Ventura. All right, so let's uh, let's keep that dipped, and we'll see what it looks like in maybe five or ten more minutes. Over here in the old acid bucket. Oh, well, well, well. Look what we have here. Wow, this is totally working. Oh, oh, whoa, that's a problem. Got it on my phone, hold on. Okay, two things. First of all, if you get muriatic acid on your fingers, it stings. And secondly, this is totally working. So, there we go. It's taking the rust off. Let's let it go, see what happens. All right. We're back at it. This time, we're getting smarter. We're using these suckers to pick it up. So, let's take a little, little look-see at it. Hey, that ain't bad. That's, uh, that's some top-notch rust stripping right there. I'm told that if you leave it in here long enough, it'll basically just make the metal disappear. So, let's leave it in there a little longer. Let's see what the heck happens, am I right? Okay, this is gonna be the last round. I'm gonna pull this out, see what it looks like. Pretty great. I'm gonna dunk it in some water, and neutralize it. Take a look. So I'd say that worked way better than the navel jelly did. Still not perfect, but it's a heck of a step in the right direction. It looks like the paint, um, the paint came off in certain areas, but not all of it. Maybe, 
Maybe it doesn't, uh, doesn't take off lacquer very well. I'm not sure. But I think that this is a good step in the right direction for learning what works and what doesn't. Uh, I think the navel jelly might actually have done something. Let's actually take a look at that uh, one more time. So yeah, this is muriatic acid working. And yeah, obviously be careful with this stuff because it's dangerous and it'll probably kill you. So let's go take a look at the navel jelly one more time because I think something might have happened. All right, so when nobody was paying attention to this, I think something might have happened. Right between here and here, you can see there's a couple of spots that almost look like they're rust free. Now my hands are wet, so now I'm making it look terrible again. But once it dries, you can see there's actually a line right here and right here. And that's where I put the navel jelly for the most part. So I think something actually was happening in the spot. You can see, you can see that there's some rust being removed. It's, it seems to be in the lighter spots, but something happened. I don't know, I don't know what the scenario is that makes the navel jelly work well, but I would say this is probably not it, but maybe it does have some hope in some kind of scenario. Maybe if you had a lighter rust situation or some rust, rust on some tools or something like that, it might not be so bad. This is like, this is some really serious rust though, so. All right, well, I think we've learned something. I think we learned that uh, navel jelly may or may not work, so maybe we didn't learn anything. Uh, muriatic acid does work, but it also hurts when it touches you, and it also melts everything and burns everything. So you have to be really careful with it. And yeah, I'm not sure what we learned from this, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. All right, we'll see you.